sandals? No, he oh. lives here, bro. Oh. Close to Danny. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you came to this area, it's in the middle of the nowhere, we are five Celsius and yeah. I forget my shoes. <laughs> I came in sandals and he came in shorts as well. Yeah, so. but, yeah, but he's green though. Yes, yeah. Not too smart. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Esta vez nos encontramos, empezamos a manejar a las 2 de la mañana, son las 7.20, vamos a empezar a pescar aquí en un lugar muy al norte de Cabo San Lucas, que le llaman los caracoles, eh, vamos a buscar lo que es el robalo, lo que es la curvina, eh, y ojalá se aparezca también la sierra. Vamos a usar ahora muchos minos o rapalitas pequeñas, algunas bailarinas, para ver qué nos encontramos. Estamos usando líneas muy delgadas, varas más ligeras, líneas de incluso eh, 15, 10, 20 libras, 30 libras, empates muy delgados de 30 libras para eh, tener estas capturas con muy poco freno. Quizás no me hayan visto en estos videos, soy nuevo aquí en el grupo, pero aquí estamos presentándonos, el día de hoy vamos a hacer un campamento, ya recogimos un poco de leña, tenemos nuestros campamentos que vamos a hacer un, en un rato más, aquí vamos a estar todo el día de hoy y mañana, aquí estamos viendo enfrente a nuestros amigos pescando y ya traen ahí correteando las sierras, buena pesca. Very wild, very wild this morning, yeah, got up at about 1.30, Um, Arturo picked me up and uh, made the mission out here. Long drive, I think we are at the Tijuana border. <laughs> Not quite, but uh, very, very cool. And this beach is spectacular. Uh, quite the drive to get down here. I didn't think there was going to be anybody else here, but I see a couple of guys just up the beach. But uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. That beat, jump there. Yeah. That, yeah. Looks like a little jack or something. Yeah, right. yeah. distance, line, yeah. bell down, lure on the beach. Been coming to Cabo for like 25 years. Just love the fishing down here, love the people, love the weather. The ocean is spectacular. Uh, it, we just we talk about going to other places, and we just keep coming back here. Um, always a good time. We had some great fishing experiences with Tag Cabo. Um, Arturo has set us up really good. We've uh, we just had we just had great times. We, that's why we just keep coming back. Yeah. Tengo algo. Looks like I don't know. Maybe not. No. Maybe a little bait. Ha! Come on, really? <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> we stuck. Be careful with the tail. I thought I was gonna be, we were gonna be the, the only ones out here because it's so far away from the road. I've rode in some really uh, not too cool conditions for the vehicles to pass through but still there's a few other guys here already fishing one of them just landed at Dorado a little bit ago not too far ago so I'm pulling out a few things that I just bought purchased a couple days ago from a 
Ferremar in, in, in Cabo and a couple of snips as well. And I'm gonna be trying a few of them, see how it goes. Los fierritos y jalan también. So the plan today is catch some fish and then uh, we're gonna set up camp a little bit later today. We brought a bunch of firewood because it was cold this morning. Cabo San Lucas never gets as cold as it was this morning here. So it was cold, so I imagine it's gonna be really cold at night. But we're gonna be camping today and we're gonna be fishing out here for two days. So hopefully we catch a bunch of fish and the one I'm mainly targeting, it's a snook. I have never caught a snook myself and it will be really, really awesome if I can catch one off the, off the shore, off the beach. I'm gonna be trying this one right now. Here's the lure I'm gonna try for now. Let's see, uh, I can cast this one really far. Hopefully I can get something. ¿Qué es? Luz de Clubin, anda el hijo Ah, barrilete. Skip Jack. Un barriletito. Son los que andan ahí brincando los barriletitos, ¿verdad? Mira, hazlo para allá para la luz. Así. Vámonos, échalo, échalo. There's the first one, skipjack. There's some bunch of skipjacks out, out there. Oh, I can see some on the water. Right on the little wave. Barriletito. Otro barriletito. Otro skippy. Hey. Relájate, amigo. Pues de perdida, we're having fun. Eso está bien bueno para la carnada. Sí. Vamos a regresarlo. Okay. Vamos a ir caminando. Aquí podemos ir caminando, ¿eh? Aquí okay. primero el área es paciencia. Darle, darle, darle. Arre, pues. ¿Qué tal le hemos ido, pues? ¿Escuchan este sonido? Es el sonido de la buena suerte. De aquí, del lado del Pacífico. Nada como desayunar proteína. Otro. Caí, caí encima del, de la manchita. ¿Qué se andará comiendo los skipjacks estos? Es una sierra. Sierra. Spanish macro. Yeah, yeah. ¿La dejamos ir o la, agarra, la chicamos? Como quieras. Si no se lastimó mucho, la podemos dejar ir. Si se lastimó. No, no se lastimó. Pues. Resulta. Déjala agarrar. Se miraba una brisita así y le tiré. Y caí en la pura brisita. Brincaron así varias para los lados. Y yo pensaba que eran skipjacks. Pero pues ya una sierra ya cuenta, ¿no? Sí. Ok, sierra. ¿Para el libero? Sí. So far we're having fun. At least I am. <laughs> That's my second fish today. Pretty good. Uh, hopefully I get to land a skipjack. I mean a skipjack, a snook. Or a... Uh, a dorado. A, a rooster fish will be cool too. So, so what I'm doing right now... It's actually casting a... A shiny uh, lure that is a little bit heavy, like seven ounces. I can cast that really far. And then I let it sink like for about seven minutes, seven seconds. And then I start reeling in a little bit, like kind of not too fast, not too slow. And I've been getting strikes like that. Yeah, so hopefully, and, and then what I try to do right now, we've been looking at a lot of bait on top of the water. So as soon as I see that, that's where I cast. I cast right to it. Let this little jig 
sink in about like seven seconds. Once it sinks in seven seconds, I start reeling in so that it can come from the bottom to the top. And so far it's been working. We got Jono on the, I think he's hooked, you're hooked up. Falta so far we're doing pretty good. Ah, no, si está. I caught a Spanish mackerel and two skipjacks. And Jono's fighting something. What? Is this pulling hard? Sí. Yeah. <laughs> no, pues está cobrando, I told eh. you a lot of people are losing their voice. Sí. Suave. Baja la vara, baja la vara. He says lower your, 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 your tip, the tip. Uh, there you go. There he comes. And you fought hook him too. That's a rooster fish. It's a rooster. He got a Smooth. rooster fish on the line, and I think he felt hook it too. El enredó. Oh, the se next enredó. Wave, next wave. Okay, hasta rooster ya sacamos ahora. So far, we just got here not too long ago, and uh, I caught a Spanish mackerel, a skipjack. My friend over there caught a skipjack as well, and Jono just caught a rooster. So it's been a busy day so far, and we just started. Put on the other side with no, with no, at the other side. Uh, grab like this. Oh, I see. Oh, so the, 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 so the blood is not there. Okay. Ahí está. A ver, déjale, tomo una foto yo. We're going to release very smooth. We're gonna wait until the wave came. Okay. When the wave back, you release. Right there. Okay, wait a little bit. Por un momento. Now. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right, finally got one. I seen Arturo get a couple and uh, uh, Martine, but uh, anyway, just kept at her. Got a nice little rooster. Feels great. It's so all you gotta do, keep fishing. There's lots of fish here. Seeing fish up and down everywhere we go here. Lots of bait, lots of fish. So keep working it, get them. I lo try. Esto. Mira. Viene bien de adentro. One second, amigo, one second. Yeah. Okay. Release fast as you can. Yeah. They're gonna share all pictures, no worry. Oh, They're okay. gonna share okay. with us. You know how release. Mira, y esta leña si lo usamos para la carnita asada. Traje de esta, mira. Y esta si lo usamos para la carnita asada, ¿no? Yeah. Beautiful. Ah, que te la suena la misma, ¿no? Aquí está una casa. ¿Dónde la, la ponemos? Aquí. ¿Qué? You got something bigger? Una manta. Manta, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you will be there for a while. <laughs> hey. No, they don't bite. Tú eres él, ¿no? De las wings. There we go. Be free. ¿Qué se hizo un comerío allí? Bueno. Mira. Son gallitos, ¿verdad? Permí. En, en, en. 
<laughs> yeah, and right now it's actually awesome because the weather. There's hardly any wind. The the tide is super good. Water temperature is what like 75, 70. Yeah. 70 degrees in, in between 70 to 75. Zero Celsius. Yes, it was super <laughs> cold. I'm not used to the cold anymore. This morning I was freezing and I didn't even want to touch the water. But as soon as the water touched me, it was we were way better off in the water because it was hot. <laughs> the sand, la, la arena estaba bien fría. Digo, y, y el agüita estaba calientita. Wow. A ver, vamos pues, a ver si es cierto. Chingue su mano. <laughs> Y el Jono ya se nos Dice que era. La sierra. Uh -huh. La sierra, mira. Buena sierra. Esta sí está buena. Pues está igual. Dos sierras. Se me que es la misma. Sierra. Se va a tener que ir. Dale, dale. Va a cocinarla, ¿no? ¿Eh? La cocinamos para el video. Sí. Esta sí se. Esta no la vamos a poder liberar. We keep catching. Jono just released a uh, skipjack. I mean a Jack Ravel, Jack Ravel. So, so far we caught Jack Ravels, Skip Jacks. I caught two Sierras and he caught uh, two rooster fish. So we're having a lot of action. First day, we're gonna be fishing all day today and tomorrow too. Don't robalos, turbina. So esos son buenos. Okay. So we just got these right now using this jig. It's called Noe B, Noe Bai, I guess. And what what we did, we dropped that, that we dropped the jig a little bit. We let it sink in down a little bit. We put our rod down with with like the tip down and just start jigging a little bit and kind of slow so that it can be kind of sort of dragging at the bottom. And this is called La Curvina. This is actually really good eating fish. And it's beautiful. Look at all the beautiful color he has. So, so far we caught a couple of them. Martin caught one, I caught one. Let's see if we can catch some more. No, es una... No sé cómo se llaman estos. Le llaman chancletas. Sí, porque parece una sando, pues. Está bien slippery. Ahora sí ya no le voy a creer nada de lo que me diga Martín, güey. Aplicarle de pesca, filete y libera. Ey, ya. ¿Cuál era el mío, este, Martín? ¿Era Curvina? Nice. I thought it was a Curvina. Because uh, they came over and they started catching Curvinas. But this was my first cast. As soon as I cast, after taking a little break, I got to hook this uh, small, tiny little Jack Crevel. En la pesca nunca terminamos de aprender. Siempre hay líneas nuevas, hay colores nuevos, hay curricanes, acciones nuevas. Eh, nadie tiene el mejor curricán. Nadie es el mejor pescador. Pero de repente si te llega uno... Cuando es tuyo, es tuyo. ¿eh? Hey. Acuérdate que siempre he dicho, la mejor captura es la que nunca lo pudiste lograr. Estaba enorme, hey. se me perdió. <risa> me rompió. La, o sea, y son experiencias que cada uno tiene. Sí. Es, es muy, muy padre, porque yo he visto, yo he visto gente con grandes combates y eh, ahí en la orilla, algo inmenso, se soltó. Digo, a mí me ha pasado, a quién no le ha pasado, este... The main, main thing that we're targeting right now is Corvinas and Robalos. Those are two species I have never caught before, and I'm glad to get to see them. I, I don't think I have ever tried a Corvina. This will be the first time for me to try a Corvina, and, and he's going to actually cook a, a couple of them for us right now. Yeah. We're gonna That's the issue of the trees. It's white meat. You know, it's... Está I, bonita I, la I'm carne, ready. mira qué bonita sí, la, la, esa es muy bonita la, la, la carne, ahorita vamos a hacer unos taquitos. Sí, since we didn't have oil, and this is made with just oil and eggs, we're going to be using this. It's our secret recipe. Con esto y el, esta, me aviento un zarandeado bien perrón. Uh, Rocky just brought out a, the table, so that we can start cooking, and that's the table. Miren, <laughs> hot, échale la cebolla de una vez porque se va. 
Se cose rápido esa cosa, ¿no? Más sal y pimienta, le. Ni siquiera Mete. tiene soya, ¿no? Y así ah, está ¿sí? bien. This is Curvina. We usually use soy sauce. And uh, el Rocky just got a sashimi with that for us. Prepare a sashimi for us without any soy sauce. It's just lemon, pepper, uh, cilantro, cebolla, and serranito, ¿verdad? And it's actually delicious. It is. And nutritious. It wasn't, yeah, and, and nutritious. Estaba nadando hace media hora. Mm-hmm. Super fresh. That fish was Hoy swimming about 30 bueno. minutes ago. Until Jono got in front of it. <laughs> 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 it is. It tastes different, huh? It's a different flavor fish. Empezamos poniendo salsita. Un poco de mayonesa. Un chilito serrano. El Mexi en México decimos un chile castigador. Chiste, a ver quién lo entiende. Y a ver, ahora sí. Mm. Here's some salt if you need some salt. Mamo. Oh. Estaba bien bueno ese sashimi. La neta que sí. ¿Verdad que sí? Y así nomás, no, ni sin soya, ¿verdad? Está, está más rico ese mes. Well, the sun just set not too long ago, which was finished today. And I've never done this before where I come over to actually uh, camp and then drive this far away either. I've never been to this area. I didn't even know it existed. So we came over to an area that I'd never been before. And I'm actually glad because it was a great. Since we got here in the morning, we started just catching and catching fish. And to me, it has been a great experience. It was a great first day. And uh, what about you? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, no, I, I agree. I had no idea we were driving this far. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, that was a great experience. And this has just been awesome. I mean, look at this, it's paradise. Yes. Sunset. Yes. Fire. Fished all day, did a lot of casting, caught a lot of fish though. Yes. Had some uh, corbina sashimi. That was, was very good. It was great. Yes. Um, yeah. No. This is this is uh, fantastic. Thanks, Arturo. No. Tag Cabo. This is beautiful. I agree. Here, the the ocean, the sun's going down. A fire. It's fantastic. Yeah, great yeah, day. It, a great it, day. Yeah. And and that was like. This morning when we were driving, when I was driving, yeah. I was like, man, I hope it's good because we're, <laughs> we're driving really far to, yeah. to an area where I don't even know where, how it's going to be. So yeah. I'm hoping that as soon as we get there, we can start getting some action. And, yeah. it, and it paid off, I think. Oh, yeah. No, we, no, we caught fish. We, fish we all caught fish. Yeah, everybody caught fish. We saw fish all day. We caught some decent yep. fish, too. Yeah. Yep. Those Curvina, I've never seen them before, and they're yeah. actually delicious. They were yeah. really, I mean, that's really good. the first one I ever caught. So, so far, it's been a great first day. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. What, what's the name of your chartering uh, business out there? Smiley Charters. Smiley Charters? Yeah. Of, uh, what was the name of the company? I mean, of the of the town? You clue it. You clue it. You clue it. Yeah. You clue it. And you said you're more north? Yeah, a little bit. Of, on Vancouver Island, are you? Well, I'm on Vancouver Island. So, but where where Kenny is, he's in Banfield. Um, I've seen that on the map. I've yeah, never been there before, right. but I've seen so, it on the map. Then it goes into Barkley Sound. It's, it's a big uh, bay. I'm kind of on the other end of the bay. Okay. But it's but it's about 20 miles, 20 miles away. Mostly, mostly we fish. Uh, everybody wants to come and catch their salmon. So coho and Chinook salmon. And then once we've got our salmon, then we either switch over to halibut um, or uh, lingcod and uh, and some rockfish too. Cool. Are all, are all the salt, salmon uh, like reddish kind of orange like that or? 
most because of a lot them. of people told me that they they're don't supposed to be like that they, they paint them and blah 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 but no, i know it's no no that's well that's the stuff that's fish farms farm fish me. farms but up in they, the ocean they they no. eat stuff that makes them like that huh? yes yeah the the sockeye salmon we don't really get too many sockeye but um they're very red they're oh, really very red Super they're not red. orange they're more red than yeah orange. Yeah. yeah yeah but the chinook and the coho kind of that reddish orange look to them yeah and that's just their natural color oh he got one uh -huh. another corbina Vámonos. the sunset and martin just got back with a with the last fish of the day another corbina. good job beautiful beautiful you know, like I said before, we we just keep coming here because we love the weather, we love the people, we love the food, we love the fishing. It's there's just so many and I mean we like to fish a lot, but there's so many other things to do too. So anybody who hasn't come here, I highly, highly recommend it. Um it's 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 just a great place good times good people good fun good fishing okay so chef martin it's about to cook some some nice prime ribs vamos sí, vamos a tener que usar tengo más carnita también sí hay que hacer más todavía más que esta so what's the plan for tomorrow martin tomorrow martin Okay, don't make plans until tomorrow if you don't finish your plans today. <laughs> we, need, we need to get good dinner. So we need to sleep. So the plan and for wake now up. is actually have a nice dinner, have some beers. Yes, sir. Uh, take a nice, uh, well, go, go to sleep and comfortable because we didn't sleep much last it's gonna night. It's going to be chilly tonight again. So one time we wake up early, we'll try again for snook, corbinas, and... Whatever fish is around there, we sell a couple of roosters too. La otra carne que trajiste. Así le llaman como Tenemos callitos, otro sartén. Que no? La vamos a acomodar. ¿Qué te pareció el día de hoy? Voy a acomodar aquí. Pues fíjate que muy bien, muy, pues muy interesante, la verdad, nomás. Escuchaba a estos locos que decían los caracoles, los colchones y no sé qué tanta madre, la conquista. <risa> y nunca se me daban los tiempos. Y ahora que encontramos buen pretexto pues vamos a estar viniendo seguido, yo creo, en esta temporada. Yo ya había sacado curvinas allá en San Lucas, pero eran muy raras. De una vez me topé unas muy grandes en Punta Lobos, eh, igual al oscurecer, pero era una de mosquitos que sí. <risa> uh, nos dieron una friega. Aquí no y, hay ver, No, no, no lo hemos hoy. sentido, lo único, un poco de abejas temprano, pero, sí. pero fue, es, es todo. La verdad, bien... Muy diferente la pesca que hacemos allá, es aquí es equipo más ligero, líneas más delgadas, curcañas, cur, este, curcanes más pequeños. Y eh, todo por abajo, ¿verdad? Sí, por abajo. Nada top water, No así. hemos usado nada superficie, no, no, este, digo, si la gente aquí no los usa es por algo. Ey. Entonces, todo, todo come aquí, bueno, no digo que sea imposible, eh, tampoco, Ey. pero la verdad ha estado muy bien, muy productivo. Eh, insisto, la curvina, los tacos hace rato quedaron... Estaba Buenísimos el sashimi, uff, riquísimo, entonces esperemos que mañana salga el trompudo, el invitado y lo podamos filmar. Hay que levantarse temprano por mientras vamos a... Pues, la receta esto es, es este universal, sal y pimienta y mucho amor. El de los alacranes. O la ponemos ahí atrás de la camioneta en la tabla esa. Voy a caer ahí. Lo bueno que Dani nomás viene a filmar. So when he got it at night time, yeah. he said he kicked it. Well, barefooted and he, 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 he stunned himself. He said he was freaking at night time with fever and shaking and... <laughs> 